This is a work of art in its own right. <laughs> so that's me looking at him and him looking at me. I was going to say, can you see the killer man? Powers and magic on Photoshop. Genius, look at that. guys so that's a monday started with a van clean look how nice that looks interestingly for those of you watching in the us you might wonder why we're doing this well because of covid over here everything is shut so if you want to clean your car you do it yourself i think like you guys you can pretty much get it done anytime anywhere so that's our start to monday into the week here at suarez <laughs> Okay, it's Monday, time to do some work. Next up on the list today, we are going to be running a Cat6 cable from the back of the router uh, into the back of the PC where we do the live streams from. Now, if you've seen last week, we were running some Wi-Fi nodes uh, right around actually the whole gallery and the studio uh, to give us better wireless access around the building. However, it's really, really important on live stream that we never ever drop the signal. So what we're going to do now is run 20 meters of cat six cable, hard lined from the back of the router there, through the building and out into the PC in the paint pot. How are we looking? Yeah, we got it. Network 3 internet access. So it works. <laughs> Speed test. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, you ready? Okay, let's try again. That's better. Lovely. There we go. 74 megaseconds so we can live stream. task. Wednesday uh, we're doing uh, the uh, what's only rotating barrel painting so I want to attach the camera to the barrel and actually get that to rotate with the barrel. So out of all this lot I've got to try and figure out quick releases for them things like that and uh, the smallest and skinniest amount so that it doesn't hit the barrel and all the gubbins that go with it as it goes around. So, See what we can do. Okay, so I've got this box to represent the side of the barrel. What I'm thinking is, I'm going to be doing something like that. The curve of the barrel is going to go here. I'm going to attach this so that I can adjust it in and out so they can look at it. That's what I'm thinking. I've got to figure out how to attach that to the side of the barrel. What you're up to, birdie? Right, so 
Oh, wow. Obviously, just, this is representing the barrel, <laughs> but I imagine that's a curve, okay? Good Lord. So what yes. I'm gonna do is, I've got the hot shoe. So this is for you to be able to remove this. Yes. Part of the way through. Okay. So you're gonna have your hot shoe here. Yeah. So you're gonna be able to slide off. Right, yeah. Okay. Now you know with this one, it's oh, yeah, a lift yeah, up and the rubber. Yeah, and then slip out. And then slide out, so I'm probably gonna have to tilt that right up. Yeah. That slid out. And you will then be able to continue. Okay. Oh, and take, yeah, it's a removable, so I can go round the barrel show yeah. what's going on yeah. all that kind of stuff yeah done it's a question of Oop. getting that back on there yeah, yeah. that into position okay. hot shoe back on slid on locked off so all i've got to do is <laughs> i'm going That's to rotate awesome. that to make that a little bit tighter right but i think we should be at that on that one side with the uj yeah we should have more than enough room well, for that. Yeah, as you said, there's plenty of room on the universal joint because it's probably at least out here. So as long as the cable's tucked back yeah, in. Yeah, so what I'm going to do with the cable is the cable is going to go into right, this nice little U-shape under here. Yeah. So if I and take it off, away, then yeah. all I've got to remember is, is just to put the cable back That's it, yeah. Underneath, it's easy, it's easy it's, enough yeah. to tuck back once yeah. you're doing it, yeah? yeah? As you can see. Right, let me have a look so on you can, the other side yeah. then. So you can tuck that back quite easily yeah. when it's... When it's back in position. Now these are going to be screwed through because I, I can't. Right, yeah, we've, we've got, got nothing, nothing to, to. No, because it's wood, so we can't suck them out of onto wood. To put something on there. I still don't trust them because they failed on us before, so that's why they're going to be sacrificed. Right. But that's it. That's going to be your setup for. That is awesome. That'll be on the barrel, and and quick releasable. Nice. Yeah, so I can then go across the barrel. Yes. And give a close up. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. That is brilliant. Mm, Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Worst case, I can pop in. I'll, I can come in with the drill. Yeah. We can pop the screws out of it. Okay. And put it to a different position Fine. if you wanted to. Yeah. We'll All have right. to see how that goes. But yeah, that is awesome. So yeah, that'll that'll suffice. That'll do us. Uh, keeping it fairly tight. Now with this, you've got. I've got to put this. I find a nut for it. Look, like, works. Yeah. Come on. We can do that. Right. So I can actually change the angle on the you flight. Change the, the barrel stopped. Yeah. You can do a bit of adjustment here and there. You know. Um, we'll look at the what angles we've got. <laughs> that is that is genuinely once, once genius. Look at that. So, guys, we we've literally well, I say we Aid is just literally now made up a camera that we can put on to the rotating barrel, which I might add is the world's only rotating barrel, and one we can quick release as well. So now. That's going to mean our live broadcast on Wednesday is going to be even more awesome than it normally is. Look at that. Hey, fantastic. If you're new here and like what we do, then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Right then, while aidy has been working on the camera, I've been working on doing some Photoshop renders for a potential client. So let me show you what I've been up to using my barrows and magic on Photoshop. Right, let's see if I can show you this. Right, let's go, let's actually go back down to where the source has come from. So here we go, look. So this is what I'm working with. So it's a 3D render, not 3D render, a 3D photo uh, using one of these tools that estate agents use. So this is a client's new purchase uh, before they actually get in. And this is all being refurbed at the moment. And uh, what we're quoting for is these these two spaces, as you can see here. OK, we've, where the, the previous owner of the house had these two uh, large cabinets. So these are going to go. And what my clients are going to be doing, let's see if I can scroll up a little bit, is pop in it in a dado rail with wood panelling. And then the lights are going to be raised up, uh, probably to around about here. Uh, so I'm going to quote on doing some ideas for this kind of what would probably be a square kind of here uh, to go in that place. Now, it's very difficult trying to do photoshops uh, from all these odd angles. And there you go. Look, I mean, now, you know, you can literally go right around the way around the whole room. So it's very difficult and getting rid of all the things that are in the pictures to try and get some wall space. However, ta-da! We've managed to do it, so I'm now going to send these through to the client to give him some, just some ideas about what things might look like. Okay, so 
I've, uh, I've had a good old go with Photoshop. There we go. Just give it a few ideas and back round again. So that's what I've been doing for the last kind of hour and a half. So this is the kind of lengths, you know, that, that I go to here to try and help clients visualise uh, what paintings might look like in their space. So irrespective almost of the kind of photos that I do get through, I'll always try and do something uh, that helps them see what a space is going to look like uh, with a couple of paintings or a painting popped into it. So I'm going to get those over to the client later. We'll have a chat on the phone and I guess we'll see what happens after that. Okay, right. Kind of approaching the end of the day. Long day. I've got toothache. Did I mention I've got toothache? Oh my. Right, so lots of stuff to shut down. So let's go and see where we're at. Uh, make sure we're ready for tomorrow. Lights. Okay. Lights. Done. Heater. Done. Do you know what, as the sun sets, well, say sun sets, as the light gets lower, I always think this place really comes alive. <laughs> I'll just have myself a cheeky little look around, I guess. Yeah, this kind of low light, low evening light. I love it. <laughs> Still, I'm never gonna get home at this rate, am I? Right, okay, that's lights off there, and yeah, lights off there, good. Right, good morning. It is now Tuesday uh, here at Suarez HQ. Uh, it's going to start with the coffee, of course, um, but today we are doing a live stream prep prior to the day. And as the day goes on, well, as you'll see, you'll understand why, because it's going to be barrel painting week. So one of the first things we're going to start with today is to get the rotating barrel set up into the pod, which if you've never seen that before, honestly, this is a work of art in its own right. Check this out. Do you know, I do like it when the sun comes out for lots of different reasons. Mostly because I don't have to wear a ho cat, a cat and hoat, <laughs> a coat and a hat, <laughs> a hoat and a cat. But I've got to say, when you get these pools of light here in the uh, back room of the gallery, starting to come through in a rather many skylights, as you can see, and you get these little pools of light just falling on the paintings. It's one of those things, I just feel like I could stay in here forever. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? You go through all the winter months and you go through the clouds and the rain and the dark days. And then the signs of spring start to appear and the sun comes out. And then you get this kind of thing happening. And you just get the sun starting to hit your paintings. Oh, I love it. You know, so I think it's just days like this. I just absolutely love being in here. Even though, don't get me wrong, it is still quite chilly in here. This big old building and all this mass of concrete just seems to hold on to the cold all the time. But you know what? When I can stare at this all day, I don't really care. It does look nice in here, mate. I know, with the sun coming, eh? Boom! <laughs> I know. Wonderland. <laughs> it looks good, doesn't it? It does. Right, guys, so what we're going to do now is try and set up some overhead footage for you to look at of a stretching paintings. So what AD's got now is, there we go, is a lot of kit. And hopefully what we're gonna do there, as you can see up on the ceiling now, is mount uh, one of the cameras uh, with this array of stuff we've got here so that we can actually do a different angle for you of us stretching the paintings. So we'll get some lights on, we'll so get some kit that. out. Yeah, so we'll that kind there. of thing. See, see what we can do. Yeah. Okay, we'll get some lights on and have a go. We're going to go and get a canvas now and see what kind of shot we've got. Groove it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, even though this is the other way up, because of course normally we'd be face down to stretch it, uh, but we'll put it face up now because we want to see what we can capture on the camera. Right, and that. What we've got. Hey, that's, that's, let me come and have a look at that. You, you hold that there. That's pretty good, isn't it? And I'll... Uh... Right. Yeah, look at that. 
So guys, that's what you're about to see when we start stretching. Hey, that is absolutely bang on right in the middle. I can't believe we've actually done that without any adjustment. <laughs> If you like what we do here at Suarez, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Yep, yep. Thumbs up. Interestingly, slight change of plan, because I just said we were gonna go and put the barrel in and get the barrel set up. Actually, we've changed the day just slightly in that we're now gonna split off because I need to get some painting done. And uh, Aidy's gonna do some canvas stretching ready for the client on Friday. So I'm gonna empty the pod. We will get to the barrel, um, but it might not be today. I think that could be tomorrow. Anyway, oh, you'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. But anyway, he's gonna do his stuff. I'm gonna do mine. So let's have a look and see how we get on. My first job then is to get these awesome canvases out of here and out into the back room. So I've at least got some room to start cutting canvas, ready to paint for a client. <laughs> This is going to be for a client's commission. Let's have a finished size, 250 by 140. So measure the canvas at 270 by 160. So there's plenty to put around the edge of the frame when we stretch it. And I've got my woolen mop heads ready. Oh yeah. And I'm just doing the background today. So we're doing a primarily base coat and background. So we've got one, two, oh, nine. So we've got a nine color background going on today. So I'm going to get into my paint gear and we're going to get painting. Right guys, uh, let's have a look at this. Yeah. Dude, that is epic. Oh, that has come out well. Look at it in the light. with this well done buddy that looks awesome yes right now look we're videoing each other right now but look what Andy's got he's got his very own chest cam look and there's me oh yeah no, that's quite Hang good on, let me stand back yeah yeah there we go so I'll try and get it where I don't sit there we go look now you can see it so that's me looking at him and him looking at me Just Let's try the gimbal, see how bad that is, Don't eh? try and keep up with you then. Woo! <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. So now we both wear a chest cam then, yeah? Wow. <laughs> and we're on it. Yeah, I love that. I love everything about that. Still just about got killer whale in there. I was going to say, can you see the killer whale in there? <laughs> yeah, mate. Just like everything about that. I absolutely love that. I just wish I had a wall big enough to stick it on. It reminds me of like Hawaii or something like that. Yeah, it'd love to have some kind of name like that, wouldn't it? 
<laughs> yeah, top job, mate. Well done. All right, guys. So it's uh, ten past three. We've actually got to do a bit of locking up now, bizarrely. Not because we're shirking off or having a <laughs> half a day, but uh, I've got to go to the dentist because um, I've got a poorly tooth. And um, Aidy's got to go and have his uh, coronavirus jab. So that's, we've got to kind of like head back and uh, go and deal with those things. However, I do have a million things to do back home, including uh, sending some photos off to a client and getting another couple of paintings online. So I've probably got another four hours work after I come home, nestling my frozen jaw probably because I think I've dropped a filling. So that's probably what I gotta have next. I'm quite dosed up actually now on painkillers, which is quite a pleasant place to be. <laughs> it's not gonna last, is it? It never lasts. Don't do it, kids. Uh, but no, needs must and hate painkillers, but I've had to have something for my jaw. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're gonna lock up now. Is that what we're doing? I don't know who I'm asking. There's no one here because AD's out of the building. Yes, anyway, let's do that. But I gotta tell you, that was an amazing success. Barrel cam. Who'd have thought we'd ever have a battle cam, eh? It's going around. All the joys of technology. Up there, painting number four. 